Now on 4 News Now at 6, one of the main roads in and out of downtown Spokane is set to close Monday. We'll explain how to get around the construction. And it was a wet start to the weekend. And there is more on the way. I'll let you know when we will have more wet weather and when it will dry up. And it's opening day for the Spokane Indians. We're live at Avista Stadium ahead of the first pitch against the Vancouver Canadians. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Well, one of the main roads in and out of downtown Spokane is set to close on Monday. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Derek Dice has the night off. Starting Monday, Washington Street will be closed between Maxwell and North River Drive. The city asking drivers to take either Division, Monroe, or the Maple Street Bridge to get around the construction. Then from April 22nd to May 14th, only one lane will be open in each direction. Another long-lasting construction project on Bigelow Gulch Road is in its final phase this week. However, the newest road closure from the project is already causing a headache for some people in the neighborhood. They say they're not getting mail, and that could impact their businesses again. Tonight, Bigelow Gulch from Havana Street to Wild Road is closed. Peter Choi explains why some people say the road closure could impact them significantly. The noise that is all too familiar to hear every spring. A lot of road noise. Uh, the road traffic uh, during the construction, just a lot of trucks running through here. Jeff Deering owns business Koi Gardens. Uh, what kind of plants? We carry everything from water lilies to... He says his major concern right now, less customer flow because of the road closure during the peak season. The first year we lost a lot of money. Uh, if I compared it to the year prior for our busy season. Spokane County is working on the final phase right now, causing a major detour for drivers. Deering does think the construction is necessary for the safety. We've seen a lot of fatal accidents in our, within our neighborhood. And so I think that part's very positive. The detour begins at Francis and Marcus Streets and ends at Argonne east of a Bigelow Gulch Road. The construction is expected to be done by late fall in November. That they're, they're doing it right for the people. Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Well, Spokane police are looking for the person who shot a man in the leg on the South Hill last night. It happened in a shopping center parking lot on East 29th, right near South Garfield, just blocks away from Manitou Park. Witnesses told officers that two men got into an altercation in the parking lot, and police say one man was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound and is expected to be okay. But anyone who saw what happened is asked to contact Spokane police. Well, lots of us woke up to this spring snow this morning. If you were watching 4 News Now last night, you heard the warning from our team of weather experts. Meteorologist Matt Gray joins me now in for Chris Crocker. And Matt, the big question is, will we continue to see snow tomorrow and into the weekend? So we've got one more opportunity to hmm. see some more of those wintry scenes. That's going to be tomorrow morning. After that... My, my hope is that we can close the book on snow season this year after this, <laughs> right? It mind. is April, okay? It is time for this. It's time for this to end already. Uh, we have, at least for now, ended the rain, although it is only going to be temporary. After the temperatures warmed up after this morning, we went, at least in Spokane, from snow flurries to rain, and the drizzle has gradually wound down over the past few hours. And you can see the rain that was in central Washington has really faded away in this loop since 3 o'clock this afternoon. Meanwhile, you look over in western Montana, and there's a lot of activity. Thunderstorms, rain, mountain snow, all tracking to the north. But eventually, later tonight, some of this is going to swing into north Idaho and eastern Washington. And that is going to be our opportunity once again to see some snow. Because already, you can see some places like St. Mary's, Coeur d'Alene, Lookout Pass, right at freezing there, and other spots slowly but surely working their way down into the 30s. And with our temperatures in the middle and low 30s late tonight, no surprise here that we've got more winter weather advisories. So Shoshone County, the 4th of July Pass area, and Cataldo area and Kootenai County, Benoit County, and Latok County, all under winter weather advisories. 
until 11 in the morning. The Blue Mountains remain under winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings as you head to the west side and into Oregon of that mountain range. One to three inches above 2,500 feet and there could be some more, especially as you work your way up in elevation towards Lookout Pass. So yeah, some more excitement coming up here and certainly a good chance for places like Kellogg, St. Mary's, Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint, Moscow, across the Palouse once again, that we could see at least a little bit of snow. Now remember measurable snow, it doesn't mean it has to be an inch or more, it just has to be even just a little dusting can count. And this time of the year, well, anything, about, anything super specific about snow amounts, I think uh, becomes a little bit sketchy to talk about. So basically, we're going to be looking for a little snow in the morning. Not expecting a lot around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but like we saw this morning, there's always a chance. Now, once we get to the back end of the weekend, I think you're going to like the forecast a lot more. So we'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Matt. We now know the names of the three sheriff's deputies involved in that shooting that left a suspected child rapist dead in Deer Park. Investigators say Deputy Josiah Luce, Detective Samuel Turner, and Detective Travis West shot and killed 43-year-old Donald Hegel during a standoff last Friday. The sheriff's office claims Hegel came outside to talk with law enforcement but was uncooperative, saying police would have to shoot him. SWAT eventually entered the home, and that's when the three sheriff's deputies shot Hegel. The three deputies are on administrative leave at this time. A section of Highway 262 near Pothole State Park is now open after being closed for hours because of a semi crash. Here's a photo of the scene taken from earlier today. According to Washington State Patrol, the driver drove off the shoulder and down an embankment, causing the semi to roll over and then catch fire. Well, it's opening day for the Spokane Indians. We are less than a half an hour away now from the first pitch against the Vancouver Canadians. Alex Crescenti is live at Avista Stadium for us. And Alex, the excitement is building for the start of a new season. You know I love going out there mainly for the treats, the snacks. <laughs> Yeah, Kirsten, what's that old saying? Hope springs eternal. Well, the Spokane Indians are hoping that means true for them. They're coming off a disappointing 2023 campaign. They missed out on the postseason, but they return a pretty loaded roster. 16 guys are coming back from last year, and they got five of the top 30 prospects, so there is certainly no shortage of talent on this squad. And the headliner of the group may be pitcher Chase Dolander. He was a top 10 pick by the Rockies in 2023 out of Tennessee, and he's getting the nod tonight so needless to say he's excited about getting his professional career started here in Spokane. It's a, it's a huge honor. Um, I, I'm so excited to, to finally get going. Obviously, I didn't play last year. Uh, after I got drafted, just kind of got shut down and you know just kind of recover and rest from the from the season that I had. So uh, I'm biting at the bit to be able to go and and um, I know these guys behind me are, are wanting to go too. So it's gonna be really exciting. Now, first pitch is coming up in about a half hour, so we're going to head up to our seats and get ready for that. But make sure to tune in to Nightside. We're going to have all your post-game coverage as the 2024 season is here. And hopefully the weather stays nice. And right now it's pretty decent here. But for now, reporting live from Vista Stadium, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Thanks so much, Alex. And hey, if you're planning on heading to an Indians game this season, there are a lot of new things at the stadium to look forward to. Allison Martinez shows us what's new. Rain or shine, fans are coming out to celebrate opening night for the Spokane Indians and familiar faces like Doris and Otto are ready too. As soon as the 2023 season ended, the Spokane Indians team turned their attention toward making this season the best one yet. For the athletes, new clubhouses, new athletic training rooms, commissaries, and the fans. The LED lights, which will have a chance to do some fun things when we hit a home run or when we win games. And then that same great affordable family entertainment that fans have come to know at Avista Stadium. Those fans transform Avista Stadium even on its dreariest of days. The energy on opening night is unmatched. There's always that special feeling in the air when it's the first chance for fans to see our players on the field and who's going to represent the Spokane Indians. This year's roster includes 16 returning players and five of 
Colorado's top 30 prospects. On arrival, fans will be greeted with a brand new LED sign and fresh merchandise, but inside those gates, expect to see familiar faces and the same crave-worthy concessions. The energy will be at an all-time high and, and we're ready for it. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. Thank you, Allison. We'll still had concerns over college athletes' mental health. What factors researchers say could be pushing these young adults towards suicide? Plus, what the Spokane County Sheriff's Office is doing to help one senior living community that has been the target of constant crime and vandalism. Stay with us. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Save your greed! Mr. Clock Casino Hotel is now open. Stay with us, relax and rejuvenate while taking advantage of our amazing amenities, including a restaurant and lounge open to the public daily starting at 3 p.m. I'm Chad Young from TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the easy I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control and I, I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this, crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. Hi, I'm Matt Gray with 4 News Now. For families with young children, here are some tips that can teach them about money and how it works. Have your young child play with coins and bills so they start recognizing currency. Take 10 dimes, count them out to show how this adds up to a dollar bill. Make it fun. Use play money and set up a pretend store or a restaurant to teach about earning and spending money. There are lots of great ways to teach your kids about money. For more tips, go to BECU.org. A spring tradition returns to the Spokane Fairgrounds April 12th, 13th, and 14th. The 8th Annual Spokane Speed and Custom Show is back and bigger than ever with over 400 vehicles. Four celebrities including Eric Estrada from television's TV show Chips and from American Graffiti meet Debbie and Toad. John Diagostino from Celebrity Customs will be hanging out at Washington State's largest all-indoor car show. Five different theme rooms and many club displays to come check out. SpokaneSpeedCustomShow.com and Facebook for more information. Country leader. Drink a watermelon moonshine. Oh, Lord, when it rains, it pours. The big 99.9 Coyote Country. Welcome back. March Madness is about to come to an end with the final four round of the NCAA tournament taking place this weekend. Here's a look at the matchups. For the men, you have North Carolina State taking on Purdue and Alabama versus defending champ UConn. For many of these players, they've been preparing for an opportunity at a national title their entire lives. And all that pressure can impact mental health. A new study from the University of Washington found that college athlete suicide rates have doubled in the last 20 years. One of the authors writing, athletes are generally thought of as one of the healthiest populations in our society, yet the pressures of school, internal and external performance expectations, time demands, Injury, athletic identity, and physical fatigue can lead to depression, mental health problems, and suicide. The study found of the 1,100 athletes that died between 2002 and 2022, 11.5% of them died by suicide, making it the second most common cause of death for this group. Back in 2018, Washington State University's star quarterback, Tyler Holinsky, took his own life. Doctors later learned that Tyler suffered from CTE. That's a degenerative brain condition commonly found in ex-NFL players and is associated with repeated blows to the head. 
In recent years, colleges as well as the NCAA made efforts to address mental health issues by encouraging screenings and attempting to put it on par with athletes' physical well-being. Here are some signs to look out for if someone you know may be struggling with their mental health. Persistent, sad, or empty mood. Loss of enjoyment in favorite activities. Feelings of hopelessness or pessimism. We have shared multiple videos on how to begin a conversation with your child that could save their life. You can stream them on your connected TV using the KXLY Plus app right now. We have one more morning where we could see some wintry weather and then things are going to feel a lot more like April in just a few days. How warm we could end up seeing over the next week? Coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now Brainstorm at KXLY.com. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Nothing is more important than the quality of your sleep. It sets up your whole day and gives you the energy you need for those important moments. And this week, Walker's Furniture is giving you a great opportunity to upgrade to a better mattress with special savings on all brands and up to five years special financing with no money down, as well as free delivery. Plus, up to $300 of free furniture with select mattress purchases, making it the perfect time to improve your sleep for less. This week at Walker's. Yeah, I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further. Call your friends at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and spend your time doing more important things. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid-proof, and pet-proof flooring comes with free basic install. Eclipse Survival Guide. Next in Sun Edition. Head south for the eclipse. Lessons learned from the last time. Do not drive on eclipse day. Don't do it. Then, secrets of doing your laundry. Stop. Woo! I, that's all I need? What you didn't know about laundry that will really surprise you. What's the best way to get this out? I really did not know that. Next in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Should I stop? Should I start? <laughs> Will we hear another beep? <laughs> well, that video was taken during an earthquake across, it was felt across the eastern seaboard. You probably heard about this. The center of the 4.8 quake was in central Jersey. And officials say that the earthquake did not cause any major damage. Uh, Might have scared that dog a little bit. No one has reported any injuries. And Matt, our producer from New Jersey, says that his brother uh, mm -hmm. lives there and slept through the whole thing despite <laughs> having six dogs. And as you saw in that video, that was a different dog. But I'm sure his dogs were freaking out because it's, it's a little... You know, scary. Especially in that part of the Shaky. country, likely most people have never experienced that before. Sure. Um, for those of you uh, locally, you may remember there was a 5.8 earthquake in western Montana back in 2017. And, uh, well, I was working there at the time. Ooh. I felt that in the middle of the night. I know some people, even as far away as here in Spokane, felt that. And it was, yeah. well, it was shocking. No pun intended. Okay, the pump was kind of intended. <laughs> oh, Matt. Uh, all right, let's talk about snow so we can be angry at me for another reason besides bad jokes. The clouds have been trying to clear in Spokane. In fact, we even saw the sun come out here in downtown for a couple of minutes, but uh, false hopes 
false dreams. It's still going to be mostly cloudy tonight. Temperatures are in the low 40s. We'll fall into the 30s fairly quickly as soon as the sun goes down. Once we get to around midnight, we're going to start to see the wet weather begin to work its way back into the area. And as the temperatures continue to cool, it's likely going to be a mix of rain and snow or light snow flurries, kind of like we saw around the area this morning. Of course, once you get up to about 24, 25, 2600 feet or higher, well, then we have the opportunity for some of that snow to stick, just like we saw this morning. So for Saturday, well, not the most ideal day to spend some time outside, especially the first half of the day. Sunday looks a lot nicer, though. There'll still be a few showers around. Most of those will be confined to the mountains, however, and our temperatures will be just slightly, slightly warmer. Definitely, though, not as nice as last weekend when it comes to temperatures. But that's on the way, and we'll get to that in your extended forecast. But let's talk about this moisture in western Montana. It's going to push across the mountains tonight and is going to make for another soggy start to the day. Now, just depending on how fast we cool is going to determine the amount of snow that we see in some of our lowland areas. But I would expect, as we told you at the top of this program, that in many locations in North Idaho, I would not surprise me at all if we saw at least a dusting of snow, a measurable amount of snow. Once you get your way into eastern Washington, with the exception of places uh, like Medellin Falls or Ione in Ponderay County, uh, that's when things are get a little bit less likely, simply because we're just not going to have as much time with some of this moisture during those coolest hours of the morning. Now, for a good chunk of the day, the most of the day, really, we continue to see this wet weather as it flips over to rain. Any snow that you get will melt at your place. Finally, as we get into the evening, everything starts to lift. We'll likely see in the Idaho Panhandle showers continuing to well, stick around. Let's talk about our estimates for snow amounts. Once again, not predicting a ton here, but certainly notable. Any snow is notable here in the month of April in our valley locations. You can see Medellin Falls, a chance for up to an inch or a little bit more. Measurable snow in Sandpoint. Uh, snow unlikely to accumulate in Bonners Ferry. However, you head up the road and up in elevation a little bit to Naples, you'll likely see some accumulations there. Wallace, another one of the spots as you're on the road up in elevation to look out past. It's likely to see snow. St. Mary's, you'll likely see a little bit more as well. And on the Palouse, we have another good chance for snow, especially on the Idaho side. So Pullman and Moscow, don't be surprised if you wake up to snow for a second morning in a row. Boy, isn't this fun? April. Start of April, always fun. Hey, things are going to get a lot nicer once we get into the work week. You can see those temperatures rising, and they're going to keep going heading into the middle and late part of the week. We'll be in the 70s by next Thursday. Now, as far as how long we're going to stay there, a little questionable, but it does look like we will be on the warm side of things for an extended period. We'll show you some of the long range outlooks coming up at 630. Yeah, that's 71 and 68 are looking pretty nice today, Matt. We'll get there. Getting connected to resources to help you pay your bills can feel overwhelming. And that's why SNAP and Spokane Public Library hosted a spring break resource carnival at the Hive today. Marissa Rio was there and shares just how helpful this was for the community. A one-stop shopping experience to get connected to the critical resources you need. This was SNAP's goal. And the turnout was great. As people went from table to table, they could stop and receive help with their taxes, energy bills, and more. One local family shopping around with smiles on their faces said this event removed quite a few barriers. You're not sitting on phones waiting. Gas money. Yeah, <laughs> gas money. It's all in one shop. Yeah, spot. And their daughter was also entertained as they looked around and got connected to the resources they needed. Got some resources to pay our bills. Really excited. It's a good time. Lots and we of cool just stuff. turned around and we needed another one and then it was all right there. Like yeah. back to back to back to back. Everybody's like, I'll help you. As one representative said, this also made asking for help with something like Medicare less daunting. And that's why he was here. But just being able to kind of synthesize a lot of that information and uh, make it accessible again. So not just, you know, in terms of accessing health care, but accessing the information that gives them that. From health care to child care assistance, the resources available were endless. And as you can see, this isn't only fun for the adults, but there are also plenty of activities for the kids to enjoy as well. Ah, 
It was all fun and games in the kids section. Kids were able to paint their faces as their favorite animals like a tiger because I love tigers. Or a smaller version of a tiger. I got a, a cat. cat. There was even a photo booth kids could make their silliest faces in, giving them a little memento from the carnival they visited over yeah, spring break. If you weren't able to make it to today's carnival, you can visit SNAP's website or call them on the number shown on your screen. They'll help you get connected to the resources you need. Reporting in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. A push to reopen the Port of Baltimore. Coming up, why some lawmakers say the federal government says they should not be the only one footing the bill. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's a 48-hour sale today and tomorrow as the Cal Superstores are going to sell 48 vehicles in two days with aggressive markdowns plus delay all payments until June 1st. Today and tomorrow at both Cal locations. Eating disorders, devastating and sometimes deadly. I'm Robin Nance from 4 News Now. I watched my own child's battle feeling helpless, but now there's a new program giving patients and their families hope how just one week could save a life. Tuesday on 4 News Now at 6. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about to fix it. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Well, at least today's payday. Uh, no, that's next Friday. Dang. Got my dates fixed up. So this is the spleen. Uh, that's and, uh, a kidney. Whoops. Dang. Now every Friday's payday at Northern Quest. Introducing $50,000 Friday paydays. Simply play your favorite slots between 6 and 9 p.m. every Friday in April, and you could be selected to win big cash prizes every 15 minutes. $50,000 Friday paydays only at Northern Quest. 4 News Now is brought to you by r and RV. President Biden today touring the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore, confirming his commitment to helping the people of that city rebuild. It was destroyed last month after a container ship slammed into it, killing two people and leaving four others missing and presumed dead. The president's previous vow to use federal funds to fully pay bridge reconstruction is sparking growing partisan backlash. CNN's Laura Aguirre has details. It's my intention that federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. A presidential commitment that's touched off growing partisan backlash over who should foot the bill to rebuild Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, a vital American seaport in the global supply chain. The president is in Baltimore Friday, getting an aerial firsthand look at the destruction and enormous salvage efforts in motion. He said this in the hours after the deadly collision took place. I've directed my team to move heaven and earth to reopen the port and rebuild the bridge as soon as humanly possible. The full price tag of such a mammoth recovery and rebuilding operation is still not fully known. A team of government agencies is working to assess that daunting total. The Department of Transportation has already released $60 million to Maryland 
Island from an emergency relief fund. But the transportation secretary also had this to say last week. To be clear, if any private party is responsible for uh, and accountable for this, then they will be held accountable. A statement some GOP lawmakers are seizing on. In a post on X Friday, the House Freedom Caucus demanded that the Biden administration seek maximum liability from any foreign shipping companies responsible up front before any more supplemental federal funds are given. Wherever the funding comes from, many on Capitol Hill do agree the port must open as soon as possible. It is a critical economic hub. We've got to get this up and running. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Still ahead, a community targeted with vandalism and theft given protection from the sheriff's office. Why a senior community doesn't have to live in fear anymore. And an Airway Heights man found dead in a house fire. What his neighbor saw from his back patio. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. You work hard for your money. And now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. GMA Monday, it's time. Get your eclipse glasses ready for the total solar eclipse. And Monday morning, GMA is live in Mexico at the first place to see the skies go dark. Celebrate this natural wonder with GMA. For 10 years, the Fort News Now Extreme Team has been rebuilding and rejuvenating baseball fields. Is yours next? It's that time again. Go to KXOI.com and tell us why your field needs a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. We love our house, but lately we've been feeling a little cramped. So we talked to ICCU about a new home loan. The process was super quick, and we got a really great rate. We start house hunting tomorrow. Preferably something with a bigger garage. Salon Pots Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pots, it's good medicine. He sent me to. Get the tax break you deserve this week at Walker's Furniture as they offer a double sales tax discount or no money down special financing for up to five years with no minimum purchase. There's no better time to freshen up your living room, dine in style, or get that bedroom set you've always wanted. Plus, get a double sales tax discount or up to five years special financing with no money down. Making it the perfect time to max your tax return and spend less at Walker's. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Today through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Something's on fire right over here. This apartment. A house fire that started in Airway Heights last night killed a man and his cat. Crews responded around 7 o'clock and emergency responders found the body after the fire was put out. The call came in from a man living right next door who saw the flames inside his neighbor's home and quickly dialed 911. Jordan Smith shows us the damage. Yeah, just an awful story out here in Airway Heights. A neighbor tells me they stepped out to their back patio last night around 7 o'clock and they saw those flames erupt and you could see the damage left behind. This neighbor tells me those flames reached at least to the ceiling and you could see the damage left to that sliding glass door. The blinds melted inside the home. A neighbor filmed the early moments of first responders arriving to the scene. You could see the street walled off by police and fire rigs. Crews quickly knocked down the flames as the rain came down Thursday night. The fire contained to the inside of the home. Once the flames were out, Airway Heights police tell us that first responders found a man and his cat deceased inside the home. 
This morning, flowers and a stuffed animal placed outside the home in their memory. That man's identity has not been released and the cause of this fire is still under investigation. We try to reach out to the Airway Heights Fire Chief for more details on this fire. As of news time, we did not hear back. In Airway Heights, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Let's take a live look now over downtown Spokane where gray skies are expected to clear up at some point this weekend, but I think we're going to see a little bit more action. First, meteorologist Matt Gray is in for Chris to help you plan your weekend. Yeah, that's right. Got to wait a little bit longer before the sun comes out for an extended period. Definitely tried a little bit this afternoon, which was quite a change from the rain and the snow that we saw around the region this morning. Got to love some April snow. Here we are once again in this situation. The radar, though, is largely sweeping clean. We've got a little shower near Deer Park. That is about it as the wet weather from earlier today has largely died out. Now, as we zoom out, or at least we attempt to uh, attempt to zoom out a little bit and look at the broader region as a whole, if we look off to our east, you can see across western Montana, there's a lot of wet weather that is still being pushed northward uh, by this weather system, which is to our south in Nevada and California and Oregon. And as we head through the rest of the night, well, eventually that broader storm is going to turn some of this moisture back our direction and it will be crossing the mountains later tonight. And that means we've got some winter weather advisories in place for the areas on your screen. Shoshone County, Benoit County, Lake Talk County, Nez Perce County, parts of Asotan County as well. And as you head further south, even some winter storm warnings in the Blue Mountains and in Northeast Oregon. One to three inches above 2,500 feet. And if you saw some snow this morning, there's a good chance you will wake up to at least a little bit more once again, at least in North Idaho, Eastern Washington, not expecting to see as much out of this one. Either way, it's not going to be an ideal start to Saturday, but things are going to get better. We'll show you how fast that happens coming up in your forecast. Thanks, Matt. Earlier this week, we told you about a group of seniors dealing with constant crime and vandalism. It was getting so bad that people living there started to patrol throughout the night for safety. After our report, law enforcement brought in more surveillance and started patrolling at night. Bronte Sarotsky shares why it's important to speak up about crime. After a series of car break-ins, the people living in this housing complex didn't think that they would see much change. Well, after sharing their story with us in the community, things are starting to take a turn for the better. Well, this thing showed up. And this thing is a surveillance trailer from the Spokane County Sheriff's Office. After our story aired Monday, people living at the Pines Affordable Senior Apartments also started to notice more law enforcement patrolling at night. This helped, for sure, so... We'll see what happens in the future here. On Monday, we reached out to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office about these crimes. Then this morning, I received a call from one of the people living here dealing with these break-ins, thanking us for bringing awareness to their problems. So, I mean, if people know what's going on around the city, yeah, that's, that's going to help. The Sheriff's Office says you should always report any crimes, no matter how small they are. Having that information can help connect them to other crimes. I think neighborhoods should get together now. Um, if people start doing that, I think I think that would start stopping all of this. 4 News Now is always working to help you get to the bottom of things. If you're searching for answers to a problem, let us know. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. The former Spokane Chief of Police, Craig Meidel, has been named the interim chief in Richland, Washington. Meidel stepped down with the new year after serving seven years as Spokane's chief and a total of 30 years in the community. His resignation shortly followed the election of the new mayor, Lisa Brown, and new city council president, Betsy Wilkerson. The chief said at the time, the new leadership can be healthy for an organization. And the city of Richland says Meidel is expected to serve as interim chief for three to six months beginning April 15th. 
A repeat offender arrested again for indecent exposure in Spokane Valley. The sheriff's office says Julian Cutberth was arrested yesterday morning in front of a hardware store on East Sprague. Deputies say a motorist called in a man touching himself inappropriately at the bus stop. The responding deputy learned Cutberth had been convicted of similar charges in the past. In court today, it was revealed that he had 41 prior adult convictions and failed to appear in court 23 times. A judge set his bond at $5,000 and he will be arraigned on the latest charge April 16th. We have much more coming up tonight at 6.30, including breaking down everything you need to safely watch Monday's solar eclipse and the latest on Eastern Washington's search for its next head basketball coach. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Kerner Furniture. At Parker Subaru and Coeur d'Alene, we're more than just a dealership. We're your trusted service destination. Our state-of-the-art service center is open seven days a week, and our Subaru certified technicians can service any make or model vehicle. Need a lift while we work on your car? We've got you covered with our convenient shuttle service. Schedule your service today at parkersubaru.com and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. You're feeding it. I will, I promise. Thanks to our Premier Rewards Visa credit card from ICCU, we earned enough cash back to stock up on puppy supplies. But we don't have a puppy. They're very convincing children. <laughs> For Valerie, I accept her the way she comes. She loves affirmations. <laughs> but she also knows how to pull somebody out of a funk when you need it. I absolutely accept her for who she is. We're both in recovery. Just having that person to be able to walk alongside you, going through what you're going through, we all have value. And learning to accept is healing. One word can change a story. For us, recovery starts with acceptance. Hi, this is Dean, the owner of Carpet Barn. See and feel the revolutionary Mohawk Arrow Carpet at our Northside store or Sprague and Freya. Arrow has no latex, no harmful chemicals, plus it has an attached felt pad. Arrow Carpet is unique, and Carpet Barn has it in stock and on sale. See and feel Arrow's hypoallergenic soft flooring in stock at both Carpet Barn locations. Don't miss the sale on the amazing Arrow Carpet going on now at Carpet Barn. Next ET, I'm with this year's CMT Music Awards host, Miss Kelsey Ballerini. And this is an ET exclusive. Plus, only we're with an unrecognizable JoJo Siwa. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Eating disorders, devastating and sometimes deadly. I'm Robin Nance from 4 News Now. I watched my own child's battle feeling helpless. But now there's a new program giving patients and their families hope. How just one week could save a life. Tuesday on 4 News Now at 6. The 2024 season is underway for the Spokane Indians. They are hosting the Vancouver Canadians right now at Avista Stadium. Sports Director Julian Minnesota is here with me, and we're talking about opening night. Yeah, there's so much hope when a new season starts. Every team gets that blank slate, and the Indians are hoping to make this a summer to remember for baseball fans here in the Inland Northwest. No score right now, though, uh, in the first inning. The ninth overall pick in last year's MLB draft, Chase Dolander, is on the mound for Spokane. There will also be fireworks after the the game. We'll see if the Indians can spark some offense too. We will have highlights coming up for you tonight at 11 o'clock. And while David Riley is settling into his new home at Washington State, Eastern Washington has taken the next steps to find his replacement. Athletic Director Tim Collins is at the men's Final Four in Phoenix to meet with potential candidates for the Eagles head coaching job. Collins met with the team earlier this week to discuss the qualities they would like to see in their next head coach. Eastern Washington has already seen guard Casey Jones enter the transfer portal and there could be more to follow, making the next basketball coach a critical high for the university. There's a lot of interest in our university. We've had five head men's basketball coaches win conference championships since the year 2000. And like I told you, we're working to find the sixth. 
Now, David Riley led Eastern Washington to two straight Big Sky regular season conference titles, so there are some big shoes to fill there in Cheney. The Eastern Washington women's team had a pair of key players leave the program. Aliyah Alexander and Jaleesa Lawrence have both entered the transfer portal. Alexander and Lawrence were two of the top three leading scorers on the team this season. Uh, the other one was uh, Jamie Loera. Uh, she's not going to be returning. She graduated this year for Eastern. So uh, a lot of replacements there on that roster. And WCU football is holding its first spring scrimmage tomorrow. Think of it as the dress rehearsal before the Crimson and Gray spring game later this month. It's one of two scrimmages the Cougars will host this spring. Head coach Jake Dickard says scrimmage number one. All about fundamentals. The Cougars have already been practicing for a few weeks, but this is the first time they'll actually practice in-game situations. It also gives the coaches a first look at what to expect for the upcoming season. Who can make some of those fundamental plays? Who can make those blocks? Who can get some people down? You know, it's real easy. I know I got a defensive background, but you say you make those tackles sometimes on a third down drill. Now you got to go out in a live situation and do it. So can we control how we perform and not beat ourselves? Those are just the little things you're looking for early in spring. And the scrimmage kicks off at 10.30 tomorrow morning in Pullman. Fans are welcome to attend and watch the Cougars. Should be a lot of fun. That'll wrap us up for sports. Thank you, Julian. Well, we're talking snow when it comes to <laughs> our weekend. So, Matt, I know a lot of people are asking us mm -hmm. on our social media channels, are we going to see some more snow? As we go in, at least a little flurry. Yeah, I think uh, in the metro area tonight, in especially on the North Idaho side, there Just will be, be some prepared. Yeah, I don't want anyone shocked out there. No, no, <laughs> that's the point. We don't want to. We don't want you to be shocked at all if snow ends up in your yard because. Hey, look, it is spring and we're right on that rain snow line. And I tell you what, you know, just a degree or two difference and anything can happen. So let's give you the, well, most likely scenario of what we are going to experience tonight. First of all, for those at the Spokane Indians game, maybe you're going to pull up in the later innings or just enjoying your Friday night. Things looking pretty good for the evening. By the time we get to around midnight, though, we're going to start to see the wet weather return. It'll start as rain and progress to rain snow mix. And then just like this morning, we may run into a few flurries around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Now, as far as measurable snowfall, and remember, you want to add some percentage on this if you're on one of the higher benches around Spokane or Coeur d'Alene, but at least in the bottom of the valley, not expecting a whole lot out of this one. Same goes for the LC Valley as well. We did see some flurries there this morning. We'll have a chance for that once again. Meanwhile, in the Silver Valley, around St. Mary's, Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint in the Idaho Panhandle, and across the Palouse, it's another morning where you should uh, almost expect to see at least a little bit of wintry weather, if not in your neighborhood, than the one down the street. So here are the projections for some snowfall. Definitely not quite as snowy, especially on the Washington side, as what we saw this morning. But uh, hey, you know, it's April. Any snow is a notable event for our lowlands. We head further north, and you can see here in the St. Mary's area in particular, over to places like Kellogg and Wallace, this is likely gonna be one of those areas that ends up being some of the snowiest, and one of the reasons why in Shoshone County and Benoit County, we've got winter weather advisories in effect tonight and tomorrow morning. We'll also look for light accumulations from Sandpoint north into the Naples area, not so much for Bonners Ferry, but certainly you get up off the valley floor in Boundary County, you'll run into to some snow. Same for northern Ponderay County. Once you get north to about Cusick or so, you will start to see the, uh, the snowy conditions make their presence be felt. Here's the timeline and you can see snow in the Silver Valley and, and around Lookout Pass as we head towards midnight. And it just spreads across the area through about six in the morning or so. And once the sun comes up, well, we're going to start warming up. One of the reasons why there are valley bottoms in the metro, we're not expecting a whole lot out of this. By the time we get to the afternoon, well, we've got rain. We've got melting snow across many areas. In central Washington, not expecting a whole lot out of this. In fact, hardly expecting anything. By the evening, still some showers in the north Idaho panhandle, but we are much improved from where we started. Here is your lows for tonight. No surprise, we're thinking about snow across North Idaho, but those temperatures right around freezing in the morning, considerably warmer as you head further west. And the same will go for temperatures in the afternoon. We'll be close to 60 in Grand Coulee and around Moses Lake. Don't worry if you're not 
getting there yet. You will catch up as time goes on. Sunday looks decent, and then we have much drier and much warmer weather on the way for the extended forecast. Even beyond this Friday and into next weekend, things are looking pretty, pretty nice. And... Well, let's talk about Monday, right? Because uh, we got some big things going on on Mondays. People think it's, things people are curious about. It seems like Monday is right when things are going to start to clear up, which is yes. perfect for the solar eclipse. Are you planning to watch? I. Or will you be out? Well, I don't know where my I don't know where my special glasses are. Oh no! I had some and I lost them, and <laughs> I think that I'm booked already. It just happened to be. <laughs> to be booked. I just happen to have some errands <laughs> going for that day, so. Well, if you are planning to watch and you have your special glasses, you do need those. Very Here's important. ABC's Lionel <laughs> Moise with everything you know need to know about the solar eclipse. Just three days to go before the historic solar eclipse, and for some, the final preparations have been bumpier than the surface of the moon. Overbooked hotels from upstate New York to the deep south are suddenly canceling some guests' reservations, leaving them with no place to stay. For others, the options are pricey. A Super 8 hotel in Illinois, usually $95 a night, will be nearly $950 Sunday night. Speaking of somewhere to go, portable toilet companies are flush with business. Some reporting a tenfold increase in revenue ahead of so many big gatherings. It's just really hard to manage that many people. With excitement sky high, people in the path of totality are getting creative. This New York high schooler turned a cereal box into a tool to safely watch the eclipse as it happens. Looking at it like with the glasses is pretty cool, but it's like dimmed. But you can see the whole thing with the with the box. But before you start carving up cardboard, keep an eye on the forecast. Overcast skies could dampen the experience for millions. Clouds are going to be an issue. Places like Waco and Tyler and even Dallas. And the overall flow is not a really a dry one. So cities up the line like Indianapolis, Cleveland and Buffalo, hopefully just some thin clouds. But I think that area is going to be touch and go day of. What looks best for clear viewing right now is in northern New England. We aren't the only ones going wild for the eclipse. Biologists will carefully observe animals after seeing some strange behavior during the 2017 eclipse. When the moon covered the sun, giraffes started running around their enclosures. Flamingos made a protective circle around their young. And as for some tortoises, they started mating behavior. This biologist tells our Danny New he's watching the eclipse with 40 other scientists at the Fort Worth Zoo, and he's encouraging children children everywhere to document any strange animal behavior they see. Maybe now this is enough to spark the interest of a, of a kid or a teenager to think, yeah, maybe science is something I could get into. And consider wearing red and green during the eclipse. Those colors, especially if you're in a group, will create a unique effect. That's because of how we see colors in low light. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's the spring into savings sale at Furniture Row. And that means huge discounts throughout the store. Save on sofas and sectionals, dining groups, bedrooms, and more. Plus, four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The spring into savings sale on now at Furniture Row. I'm Sammy Bardwaz. I own this business for seven years. I've been a member of P1FCU for more than 12 years. I lived in a small town in Idaho and then became a member of P1FCU. I moved for my kids' schooling here and P1FCU really helped me for getting these two big stores. I strongly recommend everyone they should use P1FCU because it's great staff. I love them. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Today through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Hey Ben, the thermostat's acting up. You work for Bill's Heating and Air. You know how to fix this, right? I just do their commercials. Ben, the AC's broken. Come on, you work for Bill's. You must know something about this. Bro, I'm just their spokesperson. Dude, the furnace is so loud. You work for Bill's Heating. You can fix it, right? You do know I'm a basketball player, right? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. 
Idol heads to Disney's Aulani Resort with mentors Tori Kelly and Jelly Roll. Plus, Ian Tongi performs. Great to be back. And the top 24 sing for your vote. Amen. American Idol, new Sunday and Monday on ABC. It's a chance to save thousands, plus delay all payments until June 1st. During the 48-hour sales event at Cal, where they're going to sell 48 vehicles in 48 hours, and $48 down is all you need. Cal Cars. Don't make a fuss. Spring into, into savings at Denver Mattress. You will shop brands like Sealy and Temper and Parable 2. Four years, no interest. Ship free to you. Denver Mattress. Diamonds and Dreams is proudly sponsored by Knutson Chevrolet and Post Falls. It's Friday and it's time to go for a ride on the Air 4 drone over Badger Lake. We are at Badger Lake. We're doing a little bit of uh, reconnaissance sampling, do this every year mostly in my trout lakes just to uh, get an idea of how our fish stocking uh, plan is coming together and to you know give an idea of what anglers can expect to catch on opening day which this year is April 27th. You know we're, we're mandated to provide a recreational opportunity and you know information is important so the anglers might be wanting to plan their opening day trip uh, there's a, a whole suite of lakes that are opening up. They might want to know which lakes are going to be the best, the best fishing with the, the best size of fish that they want to catch. Each lake will set three nets and then let them fish overnight. We'll come back in the morning, we'll collect the fish out of them and that allows us to uh, weigh them and measure them. By the length and weight we can tell if they're, if they're healthy, if, if they're getting enough food, which may tell us we want to stock more or less. Um, it's, it's just a fine balance. Badger Lake is, is a really good one. We rehabbed it way back in 2015, and thus far it's been clean of, of any other species, so it allows us to implement stocking the way we would like. There's really good numbers and good sizes of, of rainbow trout, uh, West Lope cutthroat trout, and uh, I also stock kokanee in here. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. 4 News Now and STCU recognize volunteers who make a difference in our community. Today, we honor Shauna Kennedy. Shauna lost her sister to domestic violence and is now the founder of Stop the Silence. I just couldn't look away. I want to make a difference, and my commitment is that nobody else loses their sister. Shauna is a driving force behind Stop the Silence, working tirelessly to support domestic violence victims in our community. Shauna is an ally to those who are all too often silenced by their abusers. Thanks to STCU for helping make sure volunteers count. We're cranking up the RPMs for a 48-hour sales event at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where today and tomorrow we're going to sell 48 rigs in 48 hours by giving you big discounts and fantastic trade-in offers. Plus, $48 down is all you need. We're even delaying all payments for 48 days, so you can get that rig you've always wanted this week for less. Today and tomorrow for 48 hours at both Cal locations. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. 
Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in Liberty Lake or call Keith at 509-499-2601. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.